So my inspiration for chefing comes from my godfather and my dad. They're both chefs sitting on the counter in my, in my dad's kitchen and just watching everything my dad was doing. And then as I got older, I worked for my godfather as a Saturday boy, picking spinach, picking mussels. From an early age, always wanted to be a chef. My favorite thing to cook in general actually is, is homemade pasta and then making a sauce to go with it. When it comes to fresh pasta, I think simple is the best thing to do. A bit of chopped garlic, chili, a bit of parmesan, salt and pepper, olive oil and you're done. I was actually working in the gastro pub in Camden and unbeknown to me, the guys at the restaurant filled out an application form for the Gordon Ramsay Group. I got the job, I started working at the Connaught. I had some of the best and the worst times of my life there. It was such a character building restaurant. It was so fast paced that you're learning so much. It was absolutely incredible. I trained professionally for two years and then I worked professionally for four years before I started modeling. It's a funny one from going from working like 18 hour days, hardly being paid anything, to then going into a world of everything's kind of set out for you. But I'd say the recipes from my book are very heavily influenced by my travels as a model. And one week I'll go to say Korea and then that week I'll be so influenced by kimchi or bao buns. And then for the week after when I come back, that's all I can think of. I find with a lot of the whole modeling thing, everyone's a bit overly healthy. I'm eating mac and cheese, I'm eating a burger. You know, it's not all like salad. I'm not trying to be this trim, 4% body fat kind of model. So I think my recipes really show that.